those questions answered for you folks. 636 right now, the city of Decatur starts day two of mandatory masking today. It's their latest effort to slow the spread of the virus. Joining us via Zoom this morning from Decatur Fire and Rescue is Lieutenant Lyle Willits. Lieutenant Willits, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Good morning, Pat. Good morning, Murray. Good morning. The city of Decatur, obviously, day two in their mandatory mask ordinance. From your standpoint with fire and rescue, how's it going there in the city? Are you seeing any big issues? Uh, you know, I think that it's too soon to see how things uh, are going, but it, I, I do believe everything's going pretty well so far. Um, the only issues I might see or that I've heard about would be that, uh, uh, that some people are, are not really aware of the ordinance. Uh, so I think the best thing um, to do would be for some of the businesses to post a sign if they want someone to wear a mask to uh, put on their mask before they come in. Lieutenant Willits, we understand that there was a bit of confusion about getting masks for people who need one. Can you clarify where they can go for that? Yeah, so I think earlier uh, after the ordinance was passed, uh, it was put on social media to uh, go to any fire station and we could supply a mask if you need one. Uh, but we are trying to limit exposure to our first responders, our firemen, or paramedic and EMTs. Um, so we we try to we want to reduce that that uh, uh, connection there. So um, from what I do know is that you you can go downtown Decatur to City Hall. That's on Lee Street, and uh, there's a police station inside City Hall, and you can acquire a mask from them. What about those who can't go out and get masks, those who are elderly or are, you know, con con confined to their homes or, or someplace like that? What do you tell them or maybe their relatives or friends that live around them? I would say definitely um, for people that don't get out, this is a very important time. We do have a higher rate of uh, unattended death. So um, in that aspect, we do got to take extra precautions with our elderly and then and some people that do have uh, depressed immunity. So uh, take that time, take that five minutes to uh, pick up a phone, call them, go visit them, uh, because we got to look out for those people too. Um, we want to we want to work on prevention here. How is the masking order affecting the ways you guys respond to calls? What are your uh, challenges in response to getting to these emergencies in the area? Well, it really hasn't uh, affected us as much. Um, we do, we've had a policy in order to where we do wear our masks. Um, if we do uh, get a red flag from, from dispatch 911, if they are COVID positive or, or if they're displaying the symptoms, certain criteria, then we will take that extra step and uh, we'll even go as far as putting on a infectious disease gown. We have our gloves already, we have our masks, but we'll put on a N95 particulate mask uh, eye protection, everything else like that, to take that extra precaution. But other than that, it really hasn't, uh, the, the ordinance hasn't affected us any, so we're, we're still carrying on like we did before. We've got less than a minute left to go, Lieutenant Willits. We understand the police department is focusing on four areas of enforcement education, when we're talking about masks, education, warning, citing, and then an arrest if necessary. You're assisting in this enforcement, or more or less leading by example, right? Uh, no, so so to clarify that, we definitely we're not assisting in the enforcement, mm. but um, we we definitely are a part of the education aspect. Okay. So if, if as far as that is concerned, we can you can go to Decatur Fire Rescue that we have a Facebook page. We also have a fire marshal's page on Decatur Fire Rescue on Facebook. Uh, we're putting out information out there. We're working on uh, uh, getting with business partners in the future to try to. To do a little bit more education on that aspect too, but we are not uh, uh, assisting in the enforcement of these masks. People tend to comply, don't they, with this rather than any kind of major enforcement, right? I, I think so. I think people are. I think I think uh, everybody just needs to acclimate to this, and I think it'll go on. And so we got to remember uh, that, that we'll get through this. It's, we've got about a, we got a month for this, and if it gets worse, then we'll go on for another month after that. But we got to remember that people need to go out there at the same time and support your community. You got to support uh, your businesses. Those are the ones that are hurting too. All right, Lieutenant Lyle Willits with Decatur Fire and Rescue. Thank you so much for your time and for your insight this morning. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. You bet. Thanks for coming along. Six forty-one right now.